Eric, g'day, hi, and welcome. Okay, uh, this is just my bike from last year. I'm putting it on the road this year, and uh, it's my first super sport, so uh, it's going to be pretty fun, I think. All right, this video is basically about uh, two types of riders. Um, while I'm waiting for the snow to melt here, uh, we're getting close. Uh, uh, I figured I'd make some topic videos like this, even though you don't get to see much riding or stuff like that, but yeah, that, that stuff's coming anyway. So I figured uh, today's topic is about two riders. Uh, the ones that have been down, the ones that are going to go down. Now, the thing is, is that motorcycles in general, obviously, regardless of their power, speed, or whatever, uh, the potential for disaster is is definitely higher risk than, you know, cars or whatever. And the type of bike doesn't really matter. It, it's more of the attitude of the rider and the experience level of the rider. And then, of course, there's just other things that can happen. Now, most people if they're going to go down they're going to go down in their first year uh, because they have the, that's when they usually have the least amount of experience and the other thing too for myself for example i have lots of experience on motorcycles over the years stuff like that and getting back into it but it, how you approach getting back into it is also uh makes a big difference on your safety level for example I, i'm treating as if i've never ridden a motorcycle before in my life even though i probably got about 130,000 miles of, of riding in over you know but that's like over 20 years ago so that's a fair amount of riding you know um and in that time what i learned was that you're going to drop a bike at some point you're going to spin out a bike at some point you're going to hit a, a greasy patch at some point things are going to happen uh the thing is is do they happen at the traffic light and you know basically no harm no foul the only thing damage will be maybe a scratch on the tank and, and your pride or is it going to happen at high speed now the big one is that gets people is usually riding with other people that are more experienced than you. That that's almost a, a completely lethal combination for a newer rider. A lot of people think, well, if I ride with somebody who's really good, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get better really quick. But it doesn't quite work like that because those other riders, if they don't factor in your lack of ability, you trying to keep up with them can get you hurt. So that this is something that you have to be very mindful of your own abilities and so who you choose to, to ride with is, is very very important uh, because people do tend to influence you know be influenced by other riders the thing too is is I watch a lot of youtubers uh, channels with moto vlogging and stuff like that now obviously I'm going to be getting into it as soon as I can I'm slowly getting set up right uh, one of the things I do notice is that most of these moto vloggers are usually always riding too fast and almost all of them, when there's an accident, they usually always blame the other guy for hitting them. They always blame the other guy for uh, whatever, you know, them going, they went down because somebody cut them off or whatever. But nine times out of ten, uh, they were going too fast. And you have to understand, most people cannot judge speed of a motorcycle. Even, even motorcyclists sitting in a car, a lot of times they can't judge the speed because they see the bike and... A lot of times if the bike is going faster than the speed limit, they do a shoulder check one way, they do a shoulder check again and pull out. Next thing you know, the bike the bike's on the hood of the car because they figured, okay, well, you know, they're not expecting the acceleration. And that's something you have to assume that they, they, they're trying to kill you. You have to assume that they don't know how fast you're going uh, because they don't. They really don't. And it is it is hard even for other motorcyclists to judge the speed of other more oncoming motorcycles. It really is. So... You know, there's a couple little tricks you can do. Uh, you know, count, you know, count two before, count two or three before you, you pull out type of thing, or just let them go by. You know, like okay, so you're gonna waste an extra two seconds of your life, whatever it is, or four seconds. Uh, you'll live, and so will they. Uh, the other thing to watch out for is mostly going to be low speed handling stuff. That's usually when people fall over and wipe out and spin out and stuff like that. The other one is. Uh, misjudging curves that's that's the other big one uh, where most new motorcycles can't seem to judge uh, the approach to a curve and and that usually gets them in trouble with it and, and they go off the road or whatever the other one and this is a big one and you'll notice you'll see this in footage all over the place is when the bike ahead of uh, one bike crashes the bike right behind usually follows them in and uh, they call that target fixation and the big problem with that is that uh, because you go where you look, right? So if you watch your buddy go into the ditch, chances are you're going to follow him into the ditch or lay, lay the bike down. That, 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 that tends to happen <coughs> because you, you, your, your brain reacts to what your eyes are seeing. 
and that's something to keep in mind so if you can kind of be mindful of that uh, if you do if you are following another bike and it goes in uh, on you know god forbid it goes down uh, don't look at them you know try not to run them over but uh, don't look at them uh, go look where you want to be and then stop then you can help them you know that type of thing uh, other little things is, is just keep in mind that, you know, there are two types of riders. The ones that have been down and the ones that are going to go down. And when you go down and why you go down, attitude can make a big, big play on that. And I think if people take just that little extra consideration uh, of, uh, you know, considering that, you know, they can be at more risk if they're a little more reckless and stuff like that. And there's a lot of YouTubers that I watch that they're fantastic to watch, but a lot of stuff they do I would never be doing uh, just because, you know, I'm at that age too where it's like, okay, yeah, I know I know you can have fun on these things, but there's a time and place where you have fun too. And there's also, uh, you can get, you know, you can end yourself on these things too. So the, the, the I guess the, the to take away from this video is just to, to be as safe as possible, have fun, but don't overdo it and know your own limitations. Uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that. So, have yourselves a great day. Eh?